गुड मॉर्निंग जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम आर्यश्री सोलंकी एंड आई विल बी टीचिंग यू द वेज हाउ टू प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ इन योर लेक्चर एट एंड योर जी डी टॉपिक्स सो यू ऑल नो वट लेक्चर एट इज आई थिंक यू ऑल मे बी वेरी वेल अवेयर ऑफ यू ऑल विल बी प्रेजेंटेड विद अ बाउल इन दैट सेवरल चिप्स विल बी देर विल हैव टू पिक इट अप अ टॉपिक विल कम एंड यूल हैव टू से सम थिंग्स अबाउट दैम सो यू नो इंस्टेंटली how you will be able to process that topic what are the important things how you can communicate we will be reading and learning all about all about that so first of all like this video and subscribe the channel now lecture topics for afcat cds nda and this will cover all the current topics so we will be learning about cyber warfare what has happened okay तो वेन एवर अ टॉपिक लाइक टूडे वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट साइबर वॉरफेयर सो वेन एवर अ टॉपिक इज गिवन टू यू द की पॉइंट्स विच यू नो शुड बी इन योर माइंड इज दैट वॉट इज अ करेंट इवेंट दैट हैज हैपन्ड फर्स्ट नाउ सेकेंड वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ड और द टॉपिक दैट इज गिवन नाउ थर्ड इफ द टॉपिक इज अ प्रॉब्लम देन वॉट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट कैन बी कॉज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एंड अनादर द लास्ट पॉइंट what can be done to protect or prevent that from happening to protect ourselves and to prevent that from happening to us now we have already discussed these points and we will move further in order to learn how it can be applied practically so what is the current event regarding cyber warfare on november 23 2022 what happened was in aims delhi a cyber attack took place and the cyber attack was believed to damage all the important and crucial data in that institute it was also believed that some of that data was even stolen so the all india institute of medical sciences aims delhi one of the india's top medical institutions came under a cyber attack on november 23 2022 which corrupted all of its servers and resulted in the loss of all of its data according to the information released by ministry of health and family welfare additionally there may have been data theft this cyber attack was sub- suspected to have been done by which country china and that was pretty easy to guess if any attack is happening of india it is most probably china or pakistan with the help of china so now we have done and completed with the current event now the second topic second in line second point was definition so what is the definition of cyber warfare when a nation or a military organization launches a cyber attack against any other nation that act is known as cyber warfare this is a military operation whose aim is to spy on damage and steal crucial information from other nations computer system and technologies so what is the definition we all are very aware of when someone most probably some other country launches an attack which is a uh, cyber attack to some other nation which it is targeting on so they steal the crucial data of that country and uses it in either way of uh, damaging them individually or as a whole nation ये क्या हो रहा है नाउ वाई साइबर वॉरफेयर वाई इज इट एक्चुअली डन सो माई फ्रेंड साइबर वॉरफेयर इज बेसिकली वेन यू कंपेयर अ वॉर एंड साइबर वॉरफेयर साइबर वॉरफेयर इज मोर फिजिबल फाइनेंशियली इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर दैट मच आर्मी और स्ट्रेंथ इट कैन बी डन बाय अ ग्रुप ऑफ टीम सिटिंग अराउंड अ टेबल विथ यू नो ऑल द एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड लैपटॉप्स एंड दे आर वेरी इक्विप्ड टू डैमेज एनी कंट्री और एनी पर्सनस individuality and their data and everything so why a country does cyber warfare on another country to gain military advantage over their adversaries by disrupt- disrupting or harming their military system or infrastructure okay very effective method of spying on the enemy of course if the enemy for example we have got some crucial information about any war upcoming war against some other country so if that some other country steals our data so they will get entire information on our plans on everything that we are going to do so it will set a back for us now 
the cost of launching a cyber attack is very less as compared to a full fledged military attack so that is understandable can be conducted from anywhere and without leaving trace behind now with cyber warfare is it is very difficult to detect from which country from which place who was the exact individual who did it so tracing the cyber warfare and its elements is very difficult so that's why it is easy to do on any other country now how can we as a country be prepared now if tomorrow pakistan decides to do a cyber warfare on us however however they won't be but still how can we be prepared so we should as a country increase our investment in acquiring new technologies and research and development okay put in place measures like backup systems now why backup systems are necessary in case our data is stolen so if we are having backup system we are having all those copy of that data which is required by us regular training to their workforce now if the workforce is being trained they are up to date they are being trained by all the latest equipments and technologies and everything it will be very difficult to hack or steal anything from us countries should collaborate with each other to share technologies now if we all have a common enemy as per se china so if uh, china is you know setting an attack on um, usa uk india per se just an example so what we all three as a country can do we can make a team together we can give each other as a lesson on technologies if a person knows if a country knows for example x thing we knows why so we can cluster that x and y knowledge and we can use it as a team together against that attacking country so that's all for today my friends thank you now from tomorrow we will be going on to another lecture topic thank you for joining